So things are a little bit different now. I know I said I was going to build a base in the plains, but that was because the game was no longer really a challenge and building a base in the plains would have provided a challenge because I would have to find some way to defend it. Well, I was introduced recently by my buddy Cory. Uh, these two mods, and if you've been watching this stream, you already know what's up, but I'm going to give a recap here for the folks who, well, the folks at home who only watch on YouTube. Uh, and it does two things. There's two things, two mods. One is a creature loot and level, like, control. And what that does is it basically kind of amps up the, uh, the enemies a little bit. Uh, you get, uh, you know, more one, two, three, four, five star mobs. Uh, I've already seen a five-star dwarf. Uh, on top of that, it also makes them bigger. So the five-star dwarf was like probably almost the size of a troll. Uh, <laughs> it was quite charring. <laughs> uh, I've seen a five-star deer uh, and it was just massive. Now the loot tables for them don't necessarily give you more meat or anything like that. I believe it's only tuned up to three or something like that. But it's a work in progress mod. But of course, as, as, as we do, we like to get into these things early and you know exploit them or try different things and get crazy with it uh the second mod is a uh is an advanced epic loot system actually if you just google valheim epic loot you'll find it and you've probably already noticed in the upper left corner that i have a whole bunch of green items but let's go and pop this open you can see I have, I have some blues as well now the color scheme is this is not the default color scheme we went with wow theme uh with uh common uh or oh, sorry uncommon uh, rare, epic, and then rare, and so we went with that, you know, uh, and I think, I guess, I guess legendary too, so it was rare, rare epic, and legendary, um, I haven't seen any legendaries anywhere, I'm actually not sure if that's even in the game yet, but, uh, <laughs> this mod makes the game so incredibly fun, so incredibly fun, uh, so first off, the leather tunic that I have is, is an epic, uh, and it has a health regen improved by 10%. Now, a leather tunic is basically like the first, the first thing you could craft, right? But I happen to get an epic, and it's still so good. And I have already beaten the second boss. I should be wearing, uh, I should be wearing iron greaves right now, but I'm not because this is just. I mean, look at that, it's ridiculous. Uh, my helmet gains poison resistance, so I don't have to pop poison pots or even craft them. Uh, my pants give me stamina and health. Uh, a regen and stamina increase period uh my buckler has poise resistance and the movement penalty is removed so if i equip this guy right here how did that get up there oh i think i just missed that um <laughs> it's like what the hell uh so if i equip this you'll see there's just there's just no no penalty right you just get to move freely it's crazy uh my axe is he adds three slashing damage so it just hits harder durability increase sure weightless i mean this is a good axe it's a level one bronze axe um let me see my bow has lightning damage of a backup bow that just does straight up more damage <laughs> so this look this is a rank one uh it does 36 I, I could actually probably max this out and it would be better than the next tier bow the problem is that the durability wouldn't change so the durability still wouldn't be that great um <clears throat> compared to you know a dragger fang or well or even a huntsman bow um yeah it, it's it this mod is just incredible just absolutely incredible and before you ask if you notice i have 600 uh i bought this i bought this while, while on stream and it has carry weight increased by 150 now i don't we're told i'm told that it, it's not supposed to grant uh, bonuses to the uh to to the megan yard or anything like that uh and i haven't dug through to see maybe i have a mod that is granting me more carry weight um so i don't know what's up with that but i, I think it, i think it's just a bug or maybe a, a misconfig on my part uh with like valheim plus or something so this is a very heavily modded heavily modded uh valheim <clears throat> instance of valheim uh i have some things fermenting actually let's go and pop these out now this is not my not my best work. This is supposed to be just temporary. Um, you can see everything's kind of just crammed in here. <laughs> uh, it's built on a rock. It's again, it's just kind of was supposed to just be temporary. Um, and let's see, I have some more things to ferment here. I'm gonna get that started before I leave. 
Right now, I'm looking for a swamp, a good swamp, because we have not found a good swamp. Now, the last time uh, when I streamed this, um, we it, it, nothing went to plan. Nothing went to plan, and I did couldn't find the, the third boss. I basically went two days, uh, one, two, uh, you know, two bosses, and it was it was great. I was just like, oh, this is awesome. We'll do the third boss tomorrow, easy peasy, right? And then tomorrow came, and I went in, and it just it just wasn't that easy. So the the scaling was definitely enough that it made it difficult for me just to... I, I couldn't just go in and just find... I can't, don't even know where the boss is, actually. I know where the merchant is. I was just sailing, uh, looking for a swamp. I came across a seaside merchant, so that's amazing. Let's go ahead and ditch this, too. Just getting ready for boss stuff. Uh, let me see where I put these. Oh, here we go. Boop, boop. I have more somewhere. I don't know. I don't know where anything's at. I just kind of throw everything all over the place because I am living off the land. Like, seriously, I am living off the land. I, uh, in terms of gear, all of this gear, pretty, except for the buckler. The buckler I actually crafted. I actually enchanted this. Uh, you can see over here on the right. I don't know, why is it still up? Why is it still up on the screen? It's just like a craft. I'm so far away from that. That's so weird. Um, anyway, that is really weird. Hold up. I guess because I'm near it. It's probably a Valheim Plus thing. Okay, sure. Do I have the hammer in my hand? No. I don't know what's going on. Um, that's probably always there, actually. I just just now noticing it for some reason. No, it's not always there. That's so odd. Anyway, so uh, you can see that there's a ton of different reagents. So think about it just like just like World of Warcraft with like you know uh, you have like dust and all the different kinds of dust, and you can combine them to make the next level tier, uh, next tier, uh, um, you know, enchanting a uh, reagent. Uh, and then you could take and you could apply them to a uh, a common, basically. So basically, uh, something you craft. If you craft a buckler, as I did, I crafted a buckler, and then I enchanted it, and I got super lucky on this roll to get poison resistance because I'm going to the swamp. So yes, uh, and also movement speed penalty removed, uh, which just makes me incredibly agile. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, let me actually go into through here real quick. It says runes. We're not going to the runes. We're going to a swamp. But I had to do a lot of like musical chairs with my portals in order to, in order to survive earlier. It was actually quite harrowing. So this is a tiny little swamp I found, and I already already got rid of the guck. There's a bunch of guck on that thing, so I have a ton of guck. So I'm just basically waiting to get uh, iron or maybe silver so I can get the dragger fang. Uh, but the beauty of this mod is I don't have to craft anything. I just don't. I could just as long as I could survive, I can just wait until something drops uh now it's not easy like drops don't just happen like and then the game because the game is scaling up difficulty by day 50 it's going to go into the next tier and i'm going to be dealing with some you know pretty big ass mobs um because it's going to they're going to spawn more frequently like literally big 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 ass mobs <laughs> huh, the crafting thing's still there um that's probably a valheim plus thing i was going to turn around or oh you know what because i'm in the vicinity of of one we're gonna get in this and we're gonna go. You're not gonna give me wind, are you? It's fine. Um, as soon as I find a swamp, I'm gonna drop this down and actually look at this. It's so funny. It says it's a swamp. You see, I died here earlier. Yeah, that was a lot of that was a whole lot of fun. I had a, that's why there's two boats, by the way. Just so you know. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, we're gonna ride this thing. We're gonna go north here. The merchant's right there, that right next to the sea. This is where we're parked initially. So I got really lucky. Like, I mean, everything is pretty close. I went to the elder, took care of that. Yeah, it's just been, uh, I've just been very, very fortunate. It's total streamer luck. Streamer RNG. We're gonna go until the wind gives us, gives into us here. I'm not gonna, I'm not rowing this. <laughs> there we go, drop that. Perfect. We're going straight north. No planes, please. Cannot survive that. Let's go ahead and, uh, eat a little bit. I don't have wood actually to build a uh, another crafting table. We'll have to chop something when we get there. So far, though, man, like this mod has really just—it's—it's it, it's because you're not constantly grinding just to craft. Uh, you don't have to like you—you you don't have to grind. Like I'm not having to haul. I mined one copper node, uh, and it was a big one, um, and that gave me so much copper I was able to basically craft. You know, uh, all of my, uh, what is it, um, all of my add-ons for my forge and my workshop. So I didn't have to, you know, and, and after that, I just got drops. So I was basically just crafting 
strictly to repair or upgrade things I currently have. Like, I mean, like, for example, this Akir. It's like, I, I can't, I couldn't repair it initially, and then I had to, uh, oh, not that, not that Akir, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, the Ancient Bark Spear. I had to upgrade, I had enough resources to upgrade, and that's all I needed. The iron I got from, like, basically one, I think it was just one, um, dungeon that I cleared, and I had enough iron to craft all of the add-ons that I needed. I didn't have to craft any, craft any weapons, I didn't have to craft any armor. So the game is really changed. It, it does feel more like Diablo, where like you're just basically, you know, shooting and looting uh, and trying to go for the best roles. Crazy. Highly recommend it if you're someone like me who's, you know, you beat the game uh, in terms of like, you know, boss content. Uh, and, you know, maybe you've challenged yourself, you know, I'm going to go and clear a whole bunch, a whole goblin base from, from a distance, you know, like I did in the you know, last episode or two episodes ago. Uh, yeah, like, this is for you. Like, if you're not challenged by current game content, but you don't necessarily want to re-roll and start over and do the whole grind again, these two mods are what is what you're going to want. Absolutely what you're going to want. I'll try to remember to put it in the, uh, uh, to put it in the description. If I don't, just, just Google Valheim, Epic Loot, Valheim, Creature Level. Boom. Done. Install them, configure them. You have to configure them for the colors and everything because the wild colors are the correct colors. <laughs> and then you're going to be golden. Just golden. I'm waiting for a serpent. Remember, the serpents can also be five stars. The bosses are the only ones that we disabled. I disabled um, the star because the bosses are... I, I fought a three-star elder. It was huge. And it just... Um, I mean, it was just like impossible. I went through two bows, two full bows, uh, and I tried. I did a ton of melee, and I only knocked him down about 35%. Just bonkers, absolute bonkers. I lost my wind. I'm a little worried that we're gonna find a serpent out here. That's planes right there. I'm betting, or maybe it's meadows. That's dark, so that's dark forest. Yeah, so I came up here, dark forest, and then went over. I don't, I mean, I don't see any plains-like trees. I also don't see any swamp trees. Oh, you know, maybe it is meadows. Okay, well, that's not what we're looking for anyway, so. But if I do happen to harpoon a serpent, I'm gonna drag his ass over there, because that's where the wind's going, telling me to go. But yeah, I gotta say, man, so so far I've been just absolutely loving playing this mod combination. And, you know, I do wanna I do wanna go through and clear all the bosses. Uh, I do want ah, uh, here we go. I do want to take this about as far as I can. That looks probably about like a one. That's like a one star. Or a zero star rather. Oh shit! No fucking way. <gasps> okay. Oh man, it's foggy too. Oh boy. Fate, what have you done to me? Here he comes. Electric shock! Well, already doing damage. Do some more. Show yourself. Shit, where am I landing? Oh my god, it's the planes. <gasps> oh my god. Oh fuck. I have to get this thing off. Oh shit, I just crashed down the fucking planes. Stressing out right now, as you would expect. Let's try to spin out a little bit. I won't get any closer to that than I have to. Then I'm gonna do a drive by pickup. I can't believe we just land on planes. Jeez, I 
saw it too. I was so concerned about the damn thing. Oh, there's scales underneath the water too. Oh, it's clearing up. Oh, come on. Read. Read. Wind up my back. Here we go. Straighten it out. Back it up slowly. Turn it. Just to give me a little bit of a edge. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm getting in the water. Got those scales. Yes. Can I make a wolf cape now? What? Okay, let's get out of here. There's goblins over there too. Yeah. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, what a score. Oh my god, what a score. Unbelievable. I can't believe this game has let me crash land on the planes and escape with my life. Let's see what we got. What's that blue? Oh, it is a wolf cape. <gasps> Get out. Oh my god, this is amazing too. Fire resistance, armor increased by 16% and health increased by 30%. This is pretty damn good. Look at that maximum amount of health increase. Oh man, Corey's gonna be so upset about this. I think I think this surface scale this might actually be enough to make the uh, the shield too. But I didn't see that pop up. As I don't know if that popped up as an availability, something like a craft. Now, obviously, I can't see it here. So weird. Uh, <laughs> it's probably always been there, dude. It's probably always been there. I'm just like noticing it. Woo, baby. Let me see. I lose my lightning resistance though. Oh, sad. <laughs> <laughs> we escaped. Oh man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh man, if chat saw this, they'd be freaking out right now. Just all this pre rip, pre rip, pre rip. Nope. Nope. I was ready to I was I was ready. They're lucky you know they're lucky they didn't send a send a Four scar death skeeter, four star death skeeto my way. I would have, I would have put him down. I would have had to put him down, you know. <laughs> oh baby. Oh, how's this thing doing actually? Oh, that's good actually. <laughs> actually, actually. <laughs> I'm still recovering. Okay, let me take a drink. <laughs> oh, it's clenching so hard. <laughs> And I score an amazing wolf cape? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. <laughs> uh, I'm just set. I'm set for life. This is what I'm talking about, though. Right? This. Right right there. That is what I'm talking about. I don't have to go and farm a wolf cape now. I I will go up to the mountains eventually. I mean, I have frog. I have, yeah, obviously, those keep me warm, so now I can just go. <laughs> I don't have to prepare. I don't have to, you know, make any meat for it. I'm making tasty meat and health pots. I'm not making any other fire resistance or, well, that's not now, but uh, I'm not making frost resistance or poison resistance. I don't have to. My helmet gives me poison resistance. My my cloak now obviously gives me, well, fire resistance too. And um, it gives me, uh, it keeps me warm. So it's a totally different game. <laughs> It's up to you whether you want to decide if it's balanced or not. This looks like planes again, too. Yep, sure is. Oh, this is like a mini planes. Oh, they're going to sneak up on me like that. After, I just, after everything I just did. There could seriously be, like, one little Desquito just floating on this. Just chilling, just waiting for a victim. Not that. Gotta mark that so if I look at it later, it's just, oh god, that's a bird. <laughs> I'm there talking about all this shit, I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's definitely planes right there, too. Maybe, wow. Okay, some more dark forest. Okay, so the planes wrap around. Dark forest here. 
So this is a pretty big... There's more planes right there, actually. Well, maybe... Probably Dark Forest. So now we're going against the wind. I don't feel rested. Of course not. There's some big waves. Woo, lad. The wind is, is totally moving against me. Alright, let's see. I know this is planes right here. So I say we break left, and we, there's planes here, planes here. So we'll shoot the gap here and see what we can come up with. That will get, we'll have wind. With us, at least. And maybe we'll get another serpent. We'll get scales, though. I don't have to do anything, anyways. Got serpent meat. Ooh, I got some serpent stew already back at home. Ready to make some more. Normally I don't eat on a voyage, um... Well, normally you wouldn't eat on a voyage, but... When I know that there's gonna be, or when I think there's a potential... For, you know, a, a one, two, three, five star... Serpent... I am going to have as much stamina as possible so that I can hook his ass... And pull him to the shore... And then take a screenshot. <laughs> That's the reason why. <laughs> I just need to have enough stamina to hold on to his ass while I'm sailing to whatever the wherever the nearest shore is. Preferably not the planes. Okay, so there's land up ahead, but is that connected to the land we saw down here? Like it can't be. It can't be planes. It can't be this can't be a bay. Oh boy, that is planes though. Can't shoot that tiny little gap right there. It's too risky. Is that a mountain or is that? Look, I'm just going in circles out here. Woo, woo, woo. Just doing corkscrews. Yeah, that's planes. I see a mountain in the distance there. There might be a gap we could shoot right there if the wind is good, which it's good right now. To get to that, the other side over there. That is definitely mountain. And I could climb it if I wanted to. Is that plains? That's a lot. I mean, that's not dark. Okay, yeah, that's not dark forest. That's not meadows. So yeah, process of elimination. I bet it's planes around the edge of this thing. That's a lot of trees for planes. Hold on. Okay. Yep. 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 Doodads are loading in. Okay. So I think y'all totally it totally wraps around. Wow. It's a complete. We're in a bay. That's just bad luck. So this is basically, yeah, this basically wraps all the way around, There's the, but there might be something right here worth trying. God, it's a, this is a huge landmass. Yeah, there's a gap right here, and I'm thinking I might want to shoot it. Otherwise, what are we going to do? We go this way, there's there's a more garbage here, and I know there's planes here, for sure, because I explored the swamp and there's nothing there. But that was the, the worst swamp ever, I had one crypt. Okay, so let's see about staying as far away as we can. Even though these tiny little, these tiny little things here could, the tiny little islands could could still house. Oh god, they're gonna be on boats. <laughs> Latest update. Okay, let's stay closer to the islands, not the the landmass. Got really good wind. Okay, I'm not staying close to the islands. Okay, this is good. Okay, this is good, this looks good. <sighs> wow. 
really was a tiny little gap. A very stressful gap, but... <laughs> There's a mountain up ahead. Where are all the damn swamps in this game? It's ridiculous. That's planes. <laughs> this game, this map wants to kill me. This world. We are still in the plains, by the way. Like we, I don't think we actually crested it uh, into the ocean biome yet. Like, is this just really shallow? like Waikiki where like you could walk a quarter mile out on the beach and it's just still like still like waist deep please say ocean please say ocean I don't have to turn around and try to get out of here like what if this is the bay <laughs> what if this is the freaking bay this massive bay just completely surrounded by planes Look at this, it's still not changing. Getting rocky. Am I near the edge of the world? No, I have a bad habit of doing that. So the idea here, what I want to do is... I want to get to... The... Swamp, put down a, 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 a teleporter, and then go back. Um, I won't do this all today. This is no time for that. But um, I need to rename all of my teleporters because right now they're all kind of jumbled up because of the situation I was in earlier where I was jumping between portals. And I jumped through a portal that hadn't fully connected yet after I changed the name. Um, I'm still in the planes, dude. This, oh my god, that's the planes right there. I am seriously just- this game is, is just trying to kill me. Wild. Um... I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted that it could still be planes. Oh, ocean. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we're good. Oh, there's a swamp up ahead! Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I can handle swamp. I mean, it's still hard. Like, the swamp is still difficult, mind you. This- I'm not in my, you know best silver gear with the top tier serpent shield and you know all this business i'm in some scrubs that have some decent health bonuses and some stam bonuses my armor value is still like single digits look at that 9.2 yeah i'm not mitigating shit <laughs> it's a zero mitigation build right now pure health I didn't even bring a third slot for food. Oh, I guess I can munch on this. Oh, I can't. I cook it though. Can't eat raw food? Like, don't starve and just sanity goes down? P.S. During our... Uh, did I mention this already? During our internet outage, um, I watched... Or I, I, uh, I hooked up the PS4, which I hadn't done forever, and we had no internet for like... It was an entire day. 24 hours almost. 19 hours, exactly. Um, and I... I had, had Don't Starve installed on my PS4. I have it on like every platform, so it just worked out. I had Don't Starve installed on it. Um, and I, I popped it open, I played it, and it was uh, Reign of Giants update. And God, man, it was, it, was, it was like riding a bike. I was just doing some wild shit. I told Jen I even bragged. I was told Jen, I was like, wow, I'm just really good at this game. She like laughed. She's like, why? I said, I just like riding a bike. Like, you know, I'm like running around at night. No problem. No problem. It's nighttime. No big. Oh, I'm landing on land here. That's cool, actually. A leech. Nice little spot right here. Okay. Um, and I enjoy, I enjoy the shit out of it. I, I miss that game so much. It's so so much fun. Just gonna pop some of these leeches real quick. Okay. So we got a couple of dragons over there. Right there. I am gonna have to chop a couple trees down. But I'm gonna pop these guys real quick just to get them off. Just in case they decide to try something. 
Why did that skew left like that? And now he's gonna be panicking. You get out of here. Oh, look at that, a green. <laughs> Show your face. Show your face. Okay, let's grab this green. Oh my god, it's Iron Axe. <laughs> and it's gonna be better no matter what, right? Like, weight reduced. Uh. Uh, I mean, it does more damage, but it's kind of trash. <laughs> Like, that's really kind of trash. Uh, I mean, yeah, the more damage thing, that, that's it. I mean, that's why I said it's gotta be better. It's, I guess, I have a one, so... Okay, so that guy just basically pissed off. Who knows where we went to? Alright, we got some slimes over here, too. Okay, we're gonna have to snipe these guys. They don't- he doesn't know where I'm at. He must be- I mean, that's two shot- oh, now he knows. One star, okay. Another piece of gear, awesome. Two star Draugr, oh shit. Okay, we're gonna hide from that one for sure. Try to snipe his buddy. Okay, you gotta come around the corner. Oh, you're a boyer. What is he? Oh good, he's an axe. Okay, axe wielder. We could deal with those guys. If it was a boy year, like that, for some reason, that's just a problem for me. <laughs> and it very well should not be. So we're gonna build the- we're gonna build the teleporter up in this, um, up in that ancient tree right there. But like I said, after, after we do some work. This skelly over here. Okay, like the skelly over here. Okay, like the skelly over here. We're gonna get it! I gotta eat first though. Ooh. Perfect. Of course we didn't get the surprise, so... We're gonna have to actually load him up here. Look how big he is once he gets closer. Like he is much bigger. Oh my god. <laughs> He's much bigger than the other ones. At a two star. I don't know if I've seen a three star yet. Thank god they're stupid. Probably dropped nothing. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's an iron sword! <laughs> I wasn't getting these drops on the fucking stream! This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, I already equipped it. I have like zero. I have zero skill in swords on both my characters, so we're not doing that. Uh, what does it have though? What are the stats? Let's see. Um, backstab improved by 17%. Hey, that's pretty good. Sneak up somebody and uh, do something, I guess. I don't really. I get. I don't. I don't use it. So. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's go. Okay, let's get this guy out. Try to clear the waters a little bit. Get this piece. Get this piece. No room in inventory. Oh, because I picked up something just then at the last second. Guck. Oh. Hold on. Incoming slime and incoming skelly. Plural. Where are you? Okay. What? Yeah, what is going on? I am getting... This is the best... I have, I just did not have this. Oh, it's a leather tunic. Okay. So you're done. Okay, you didn't drop anything? Okay, good. What the- Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! What? Arrow. Oh shit, I didn't see him. Okay. Again with these guys. Imagine if they didn't highlight their names, right? Done. Okay, now let's toss these entrails. I don't need them. Grab just this. Another iron axe. Oh, hey, this might be better than the one I'm currently using. Physical day. Oh, hell yes. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That's my new main. <laughs> Physical damage increased by what was that number? 
18%. I bet it goes to 20. 20. This is a damn good roll. Alright. Let's get some wood. Oop, let's not die out here. Okay, get another one. Okay, let's not die out here. Oop. Scoot you back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, good. That's enough. Ah, we'll go take this one out. Just to, just to, just to, ah, we'll take this, just to clear them out now. Let's get do that. All right, let's see. Ah. So, let's go and put down a crafting table. We'll move it later. Um, uh-oh. Got the boys over here. Let's see, what can I throw down real quick? Let's get rid of these arrows. On these guys. Oh, boy, here. Now, in case you, like, forgot, the, the lightning, or maybe didn't show you, the plus four lightning damage is what you're seeing. That's why you're seeing it, the electric shock, whenever I shoot something. Shit. Okay. Yeah, this place is just crawling. Just crawling. Oh, one more. Yes, I still use wooden arrows. <laughs> they're just the best. They're just the best. Like they're they're cheap. Like they seriously are so cheap. Um, and you can just make a bazillion of them. You know, like, because of, because of that. So put that down. Okay. Okay. So first things first. Let's put down a. Are they, trying, are they going at my? Oh, they're going at me. Okay, that's fine. Go at me. Don't touch my shit. Okay, let's extend this out one more time. That'd be pretty. And it won't be. Just to get it on that tree. Give me that tree. Damn, really? Get some shit. Missing requirement. What? Wood? What? I don't know how I pick up so much. I picked up so much wood over here. Or maybe not. For reals? Oh, I did spend 10. Yeah, that's true. I did pick up spend 10 and then... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. So I guess I should go ahead and take these guys down. Great. Yeah, sure. Roll right over there. Be right there. I'll be right over. Not that tree, though. That tree's got to stay. So let's extend this guy a little bit the right way. Get right on the edge. Come on, give it to me. Give me that edge. This is like Minecraft. Blocked by me, probably. You feel cold. Okay, so we'll have to do it this way then. So jank. But you just gotta. Oh my god, give me. Get me close enough to put the. Oh, oh. You know what? Okay, go about this wrong way. Give me the mats. Then, uh, give me the mats. Oh, okay, same save game. Oh, there's wood right here, actually. I did not pick up. Good. Damn, look at those guys. There's a one star down there now. God, if I fell on that right now, I would just be taking so much, so much damage. All right, so what we'll do instead, since this thing wants to be cheeky, we'll just build some stairs. Uh, yeah. I think we can build two stairs on top of each other before they start to collapse. Oh, wow. Okay. Still kind of green. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, there we go. That's that's what I was expecting. Hold up. Can I just, like, attach this here and then... <laughs> and then I just have some stairs? <laughs> uh, oh! Oh, snap. Okay. Real deal now. This guy will... Fucking murder me. One shot, easy. Oh, and an oozer? Sweet. This is just a no star. <gasps> oh God, I'm so scared. So scared right now. Poison, poison, poison's coming, poison coming. 
Okay. All right, I'm going up to my, my roost. That seems to be the smartest thing right now. Quickly. Oh god, and a wraith? Awesome. Come back, come back, come back, come back. They did a lot of damage. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, let that be a lesson. <laughs> that is what happens. That is what happens <laughs> when you roll these two mods together. You cannot expect to just get in and just roll the same way that you've been. Oh man, I was so close. I should have just set the damn thing up right there at the top. That's incredible. Well, um, that pretty much does it for our episode today because now, and I'm not going to do it tonight, I have to sail my ass all the way up here in order to get it. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> This is not the first time I've had to do this, just so you know. The game has just a, just a whole other level of challenge now, and I absolutely love it. It's just so freaking good. So, that's it. <laughs> My name is Mike B. Uh, this is Valheim again. It's epic. It's the epic loot mod and the creature level um, mod as well. So, have a good one. I'll see ya. Bye.